Hello guys and welcome back to another video in the shed and another video of this engine for my little Blue ZX. Now, um, hopefully this won't be such a long video, but I will miss a few bits out where I need to and I will make it as short as possible. But the aim of this video is going to be basically have the engine completely rebuilt back up. So we have three out of four pistons already installed and I'm basically going to show you how I install the... Um, fourth and final piston right so these pistons that I'm putting in are the original pistons from this block and um, also the original piston rings and I know people may possibly scream at me because I'm going to reuse the original piston rings and I'm going to reuse all the bottom end bearings and shim caps and the reason is because I have checked these and they are within equal tolerances of what a new part would be and I just don't have the funds, personally, to um, buy new parts at this precise moment. So where I feel like I can cut a few corners, and like I said, this is all parts that have come out of this. So they'll go back into the same block, same engine, same crank, everything's the same. So by using the same bearing caps in their exact locations as to where they were originally, and the same piston rings going in the same chamber as it was before, I feel like... I'm going to be happy to do that but what we will do though is you see the don't know if you can see the gap there I make sure the gaps are not because if we basically have all the gaps lined up like so what you'll find is it won't give a very good compression so what I'll do is I'll leave the top top and the bottom one like that and I'll just spin the middle one round so it's completely opposite and in that way, none of the gaps line up and we won't have any... that will keep the compression ratio of the piston perfectly normal. So guys, like I said, I've uh, put the uh, gaps in the piston rings completely like off. So they're not lined up, basically. Make sure they're not lined up with each other. We literally put this tool on here now. And we've got the special key for this and it'll just wind it up. Right, and the idea with this is to make sure it is as tight as it will go and that will then in turn compress the piston rings down so we can just tap it into the block as needed. Now we've got to make sure it goes not that way, the right way round like so with those little uh, bits at the top. Literally just sit it in the top like so and because that's compressed the piston rings we can literally just tap it in and what I'll use to do that with is literally just the wooden end of my hammer that's now done so we've now got the engine upside down with all four pistons in I've taken all the caps off of the uh, con rods I've taken all the big end bearing caps off as well these uh, shims like I said are well within the tolerances and a similar sort of spec and just as pretty much just as good as new ones so that's why I'm going to leave them in there and I may have some hate comments or People not maybe like maybe not liking my idea of doing that, but like I said, I'm putting everything back on the same engine, so it's not like I'm changing the order of anything. So I'm just going to run with it and hope, keep my fingers crossed, and hope everything's all good. But so that's that. What we've got here is everything laid out, like the top ones there, as it should be. The Conrad ones laid out in the order they came off as well, so they're all laid out in the order they came off to match the engine. We've got a couple of little um, rubber gasket things for the end of that end cap. We've got the uh, gasket that goes on the uh, on just on there, and we have the uh, sump gasket. Previously, I believe this engine has been apart somewhat before, and um, it had um, silicon substance on here. But I've got a proper sump gasket, so I'm going to put that on and. Um, then obviously the sump can go back on afterwards. So guys, I'm literally going to put some assembly lubrication on all of these channels. Now, those little bits that I told you about there, I'm literally going to pull these off, get rid of that. And there's one on that side as well, pull that off as well. And then we've got one that goes over there, one brand new one to go over there like so. And push that in. Another brand new one to go in that side as well, just like so. So now the plan is literally just to rest this in to where it goes. 
and that is now in there all um, lubricated underneath so all we'll do now is we'll chuck some more lubrication on the top and now we just start putting the caps back on so if we pop this one on first like so just do all this up by hand for now right so all the bolts are back in these are these ones here on the um, com rods are 14 millimeter nuts and these ones on the uh, bearing caps to hold the uh, crankshaft in place are 19 millimeter socket and um, basically what we need to do is we need to turn these ones up on the com rods to 20 newton meters plus 70 degrees angle of a turn so um, I'll get the torque wrench on them now because I've just nipped them up that's that one and that's the last one what we'll do now is we'll get my uh, angle gauge set up and we'll show you how we do the uh, 70 degree turn to make sure they're completely tight so guys the uh, Conrod ones are done now and the way I was able to do the 70 degree angle was literally by using this tool and what happens is you put it on the um, put the socket on one side lock that off somewhere so it's firm move that so it then locks into place and then when you've then got it all locked into place you then pull that plastic cover one back to zero like so and then you put your uh, ratchet on there and literally rotate it to the appropriate degrees that you need to just thought i'd just do that and then tell you what i've used to do it with so what i have got to do now though guys is i've got to use um i've only put these in loosely by just nipping them up quickly with the small ratchet and literally we've got to undo these again all of these ones because these ones need talking up and they also need some thread lock on them as well so if we just uh, like I say crack these loose and then one at a time I'm going to take them out and put thread locker in I'm then going to wind them back down to nip them up and then I'm going to talk these up and these go to a torque setting of where is it they go to a 70 newton meters worth of torque or 52 foot pounds of torque and I'm getting these readings from the Haynes manual so so we've got the first one out so we'll just put some of that on just a line down there like so which is plenty enough for what we need that bolt can go back in there now and do that one up by hand for now and then we'll do the next one and we'll do the rest like that now i'll bring you back and we'll torque them up so bring you back guys the torque wrench is set at 70 newton meters as you can see and also in the Haynes manual it didn't say anything about putting thread locker on these but I did decide to take these off on the um, Conrod caps and put a bit of thread lock in there as well just to be on the safe side. So I've actually redone these caps. Just thought I'd bring you in for a little bit of a closer view because I have now put the uh, oil pump back on and on this there's two keyways with little half moon type keyway bits that go in the bottom just there and you put that in and then what you do with the oil pump is you put the chain on which i've soaked in some engine degreaser and i will be putting a bit of oil on that as well before i'll put some like assembly lube on there in a little while and um, that so it rotates lubricated to start with when i start the car up for the first time um but that sprocket there and the oil pump has to go on together at the same time because this may look a little bit loose but it is too tight to put on otherwise so they both have to go on at the same time and it's literally just got three bolts in the top one just there one just there one just there i've done them up they're 11 mil bolts and in the haynes manual it says torque them to 13 newton meters so it's pretty much just a firm hand tightness sort of scenario so that's all i've done with them and what we're going to do now is we're going to literally put the gasket on there and the cover on there so the guys the gasket's on we just literally put this cover on like so lightly bash that into place and then we've then got six 11 mil nuts four of the small ones and if you look at here two longer ones as well the two longer ones go in the top just like so i've cleaned all these nuts uh, these bolts up as well so 
they're a little bit cleaner when they go in doing these up by hand so we don't break the gasket right so guys uh, I've got the torque wrench set up and the lowest my torque wrench will go down to is 20 newton meters so I've set it at 20 these are supposed to be torqued at 16 but just that extra couple of bits won't make that much difference and that's that done now we need to put an oil seal in there just like that guys we've got the uh, oil seal in literally I just used a rubber mallet and tapped it away around the edges and I've chipped my very poor quality paint job but the reason it's a very poor quality paint job is because I used all the paint really on the actual engine and then found this bit afterwards and was like oh poo I've kind of forgotten to paint that so I just had to use what I had left as far as uh, paint's concerned now moving up though and um, I will put more assembly lube on this bit in a little while um, we've got the oil pan sump to put on now we've got this gasket in the kit all those holes match up none of these on this side do and all those holes match up so this is sided and just like magic guys I've now got all the holes to line up and where I say this is sided it literally is a case of it will only go one way around and I just wanted to prove a point there basically so I've flipped it over and now it's um, gonna go on I've also cleaned up all the um, the bolts so they're old but they look a lot clean they were black with dirt and oil and stuff so not all of them look like that some of them are a little bit dirtier but they're they're all good to go back in anyway so um we'll put the oil sump on and we'll start doing that up now so here where are we at now guys what we've done is we've uh i put the last of the assembly lubrication on the chain like i've said about we've now got the sump in place all 23 of these bolts are in place all the way around the sump they are six mil allen key heads and they get tightened up to 19 newton meters so what i've actually done like i said my torque wrench will only go down to the lowest setting of 20 newton meters so they have actually been torqued up to 20 newton meters because that's the lowest setting that my torque wrench will do so what we're going to do now guys is we're literally going to flip it over so the sump is actually where it should be at the bottom of the engine we're going to put the head on now so now we've got it flipped over ready for the head to go on we've got the head there we've got the old head bolts and we've got the old head gasket that's all right we'll put them back on they'll be fine to use it doesn't look too bad just kidding guys brand new head gasket i'm not going to play you like that don't worry we're not going to reuse an old gasket i'm not like that brand new head gasket some brand new old stock head bolts why did i have a suspicion that they're too long so unfortunately guys i'm gonna have to order some new head bolts and kind of uh do a part two on this engine build i think so guys i'm ending this video a little bit shorter than i was anticipating that i was going to unfortunately the head bolts were too long so um but it's not all doom and gloom i have been on the phone to my local parts supplier they have managed to be able to source and get access to some new head bolts for me which i'm going to go down tomorrow morning and pick them up if you would like to see what i get up to outside of youtube though you can head over to my instagram page that's the zx guy same name as youtube lastly if you'd like to watch another one of my amazing videos you can do so just in the top corner here and please consider subscribing it will help the channel grow immensely you can do that just in the bottom corner just here take care guys bye for now